Greetings and salutations. It is Saturday, September 12th, and I promised you guys a weird raid walkthrough, so I'm trying to fulfill promises and all that jazz. So, um, we're gonna do Throne of the Four Winds. Um, I have never tried to solo this raid, so this will be fun. And yeah, I think it'll be a good time. So, you're gonna go to, uh, this is, sorry, this is a Cataclysm raid. Um, it is fairly, according to comments on Wowhead, it is fairly easy to solo. Um, all you're going to do is go to Aldum. So either from, you can fly there if you wish, or you can go from Or Orgrimmar or Stormwind um, at the place where you can get all the portals to all the Cataclysm areas. You're going to end up in Ramkahen. And then you're going to fly southwest to Throne of the Four Winds. It's quite high up, as you can see. And then you're going to go to the big, big castle in this floating castle in the sky, and we're gonna go into the portal. So there apparently is strategy. So here's the map. Uh, so step one is the Conclave of the Wind. So we have to kill these guys. And so the order in which we're going to kill them is a little bit wonky. So there's the main guy, we're not killing him yet, we can't. Uh, we're going to go directly behind, so to the northmost tower, we're going to kill um, Nazir first, get him down to 0%, and then we're going to go to the westmost one and kill Ansel, and then we're going to go lastly, apparently lastly, you have to kill uh, Rohash. So um, some points to make before we start. Um, you can absolutely walk around, you just kind of have to be careful. And... Uh, hug the edge so that you don't pull the big guy first, so that you pull the right one. Don't put on any type of slow fall ability or you you pretty much die. So, um, main strategy, don't blow any of your cooldowns till you get to the last guy. If you're doing this on um, normal like I am, I don't know if the same works for heroic, you get about a minute's grace in between killing each boss. So you want to make sure you kill them fairly quickly. So, there is Nazir. He's the Lord of the North Wind, so he's gonna be frosty, I think. Yeah, there's like snow everywhere. All right, and we are buffed. Let's just rebuff to make sure. All right, let's do this. Doesn't have too much health. And we're, like I said, we're doing this on normal, so you wanna save any DPS cooldowns. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go here, go after this guy. This is the earth guy, I think. Yeah, he's got like leaves all over on the crap. Okay, so he's done. Then we're gonna go back this way. Have any speed boosts that you possibly can ready to go. So you see they have this, so it's just over a minute, they have this gathering strength thing. And so if you don't kill them quick enough, I believe it's shorter. I don't, actually, I don't know if it's shorter, but the bosses have more health, so it might just take longer. Um, but, Regardless, um, you have this time, and if you haven't killed them all within time, they gather strength and they get stronger, and you have to go back and kill them. So usually, what you'll do is you'll get, um, if you're doing this at full rage, you would get a group on and style a group on this guy, and then everyone would book it to the last guy. And if memory serves, there should be loot. I think the loot is over here at the middle, but I'm not entirely sure. Yes, it is. Okay. So the loot is back at the middle where you can see the slipstream and this is how we go and fight Alizir. And for those of you who play Hearthstone, you will know what legendary that is. So let's loot. Money is good. We got a ring that I don't want and plate belt that I don't want. So that's perfect. So we're gonna go to the middle of the northmost one. So yes, uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Alizir is a shaman legendary in Hearthstone. And now we attack him. Let's go. So he's gonna electrocute us because he's kind of a dick. He's the air guy. Uh, the last guy we fought, um, Rohash, was the uh, fire guy, I think? Or earth guy, I don't know. Okay, so he's dead. That didn't take very long. And now we're flying. We have this little buff. And we're looking for, there it is, this little thing right here, Heart of the Wind. And it has a chance to drop a mount. I'm not entirely sure on what difficulty. But we didn't get it. That is okay. Cool sword drops. But that's it. That's 
Throne of the Four Winds. It's really easy. It's really quick. I let me. Oh god, I'm just gonna alt tab here. Yeah, we're done in under ten. We're done in just over five minutes. So, and I was including all my babbling. So that is it. This was on ten man normal. Um, Twenty five man heroic is apparently very doable if you are decently geared, and that was as of six point one. So, if you have any type of gear from six point two or onward, it's gonna be a cakewalk. So. That is it. That's all you have to do. And then to get out, you just, well, you can hearth or you can just fly this way and you keep this buff so you can go, oh, I was hoping it let me swim. But yeah, you get to kind of float and swim around in the air for a while and then you can just pour it out. And that is it. That is Throne of the Four Winds. Super easy. The only really main issue is to make sure you kill them fast enough so that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, they don't gather strength from the bosses and then kind of regenerate. So like, the order is somewhat important. Um, any of the, either the north guy or the west guy can go first and then the other, and then you have to kill Rohash last, apparently. This is what I was told when I read through all the wildhead guides, they all said kill him last. And then you go back to the northmost tower, click on the slipstream, kill Elakir. And that's it. We couldn't even get to all the phases because I killed him so quickly, and I, for that I do apologize because I know it's sometimes quite nice to be able to uh, look at phases and know what to do, but seriously, at level 100, guys, you're going to be fine. Anyway, that is it. That was a really short video. I was not, I was expecting me to fail at least once, but I guess on 10 man normal, it, nothing goes wrong. So thank you for watching. And uh, tomorrow we'll be with the vlog and then Monday we will continue our treacherous arena run. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.